I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of Sketchbook Pro for the iPad. You'll see a small circle here which brings up the menu, which can also be accessed with a three finger tap. I'm going to select a brush size by dragging side to side. Um, up and down does the opacity. So now that I have my brush selected, I can just show how the interface works here. It's really nice, large canvas, uh, very responsive. Adding a new layer can be done like this. And let's change our brush a little. Maybe that. Lots of presets here for brush types. We'll start with something like that. It's very light, so maybe we want a darker background. And if I decide to use something like a photo from my iPhoto, I can do that. I'll use this metal type texture here. Oh, but in this case, I accidentally replaced my drawing, so I'm going to undo that. And let's do it again, but this time I'm going to put it on its own layer. And I probably want that here. So now I have my drawing down. I want to show you a couple of other options here. You can select the brush. You also have a straight line tool, square tool, and a circle tool. We can also zoom in and out. You zoom in pretty far, I think it's 2500%. Getting back to 100% is easy. I can just tap 3, get the uh, menu back. Oops, that's layer transform. Uh, layer transform can be used to change the properties of a particular layer, twist it, rotate it, zoom in and out. So make sure I've got my brush selected again. And I'll show you a couple more brush options here. There's a whole nother set of settings here, so I can choose a brush. Give us these taper effects by giving it a min and max radius. Here's the opacity, maybe you wanted it lighter when it first starts and then darker in the middle and you can also change the spacing here as well so let's paint that down and see what it looks like let's try another color something brighter and let's put it on a new layer So you can see that it's tapering there, but let's choose another brush just to get the effect more obvious. There we go. You can see it tapers on either, on either end. So. 
Uh, really impressed with Sketchbook Pro. It's really responsive, really nice to use. Pretty deep as far as features go. And I didn't even show everything. Very nice program. I'm Jeff Rainey, today in art.com. Thanks.